So hello guys and welcome back to the Persia War Room. Uh, today I've been doing some uh, gaming with a guy called Chris Flowers, a well-known uh, wargaming friend of mine uh, who's got a much bigger wargaming setup than me and we've been doing the second set of moves in Operation Mitten. Uh, we'll show you some of that uh, that took place earlier today in the daylight but first of all I'm going to go and look at some uh, close-ups of some of the, the key points of the action and talk through how the rules have been working and uh, where we're going to go next with the game. Then you hear from Chris via the iPad link telling us about his overall tactics for the British that he's been giving me and then I'll tell you what you'll see in the next videos. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the battlefield. Okay, so here we are at the battlefield on one of the flanks. And as you can see, the British infantry have been making a move on the farmhouse here. And if we pan out, you'll see that uh, there's more British infantry coming around the corner of this uh, little wood here. The anti-tank gun and the show and firefly staying in the two corners here of this uh, wood and junction and that's because chris wants them to take oversight of the intended push which will go up this flank towards the the german positions in the chateau over there so that's the aim on this side when chris talks in the video later about having oversight and overview of the battleground that's what he means he wants the anti-tank weapons ready and positioned to take things on but already you can see the British are having some success in here and the anti-tank gun destroyed this Panzer IV so let's look at the other flank so on this flank again we've got the British advancing through the cornfields they've been doing most of this out of sight of being spotted by the observation tests by the Germans in the fields opposite so if we pan up we can just zoom in on the Germans who are in this, these positions here but they've not yet observed what the British are up to, but I suspect they're about to soon because the British are moving quite close to the German positions and we'd expect the Germans to start being able to deploy some observation tests to look at what's going on. So if we just pan back to take a look at the, the situation as a whole, we've got the two flanks, we've got the British advancing up either flank and they're going to concentrate their force now on this place up here. Uh, with the aim of taking it and that will be I imagine quite a hard nut to crack Okay, um, gentle viewer. Here's Chris. Chris say hello to the gentle viewer Hello gentle viewers. There he is um, As promised in the in the last video, we're going to do a quick look at uh, where this battle's got to we're now um, In the early, still the early stages, but the British are making good progress on each side So we're just going to overview with what Chris's tactics have been because Chris joins me digitally to talk about the plan, so it's not just a solo game, it's a game that I don't understand what the enemy are going to do. So Chris, we've got your British on this flank, we've just done a move, do you want to talk us through what's just happened here? Yes, yes. let's work on the basis, the, 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 the simple principle is the British know very little about what they're facing, yep. except for the fact that they can be sure that they'll be well armed and well motivated, and they're likely to have a level of overview as much as they can. So, for the British, there are two principles. The first is to move carefully and slowly, uh, rather than an only dash when you need to between, play, between open spaces, yeah. or across open spaces. However, as much as possible, you want something on oversight all the time. So when you look closely at the battlefield, you'll see things like um, as tank guns, um, yeah. basically protecting the, the, the various vehicles and various people moving forward. And oh. particularly on the Sherman side, the 17 pounder Firefly has now moved forward forward into an overwatch so the other two Shermans can start to move forward under levels of cover. Brilliant. That now so I hope you enjoyed uh, the video uh, as a demonstration really of how you can do a solo game but with someone assisting you, uh, bar in that case, a video call on the iPad. Um, if you like the video, do please subscribe. Uh, the next stage we're going to look at is going through some rules in action so you can see how a move would work and uh, that should be coming up by the end of next week so many thanks again and big thanks to chris flowers for joining me all the way from north yorkshire when i was up here in persia uh, making it work in that new way gosh when i was young we used to do uh, campaigns and solo uh, types of war games using postage just to send each other orders through the post now we can do it instantly with a video call which is pretty great for our hobby. So uh, keep wargaming, please keep watching, and do please subscribe. Thanks a lot.